Salesman Mike Dreschler fills up the tank for his motorized roller skates at a Sunoco station in Hartford, Connecticut. These self-propelled skates were purposed to transportation in rural areas and produced in Detroit in 1956. The Dynasphere seemed like something out of the era's science fiction literature. Patented in 1930 by English engineer Dr. John Archibald Purves, this motorized monowheel prototype weighed 1,000 pounds and could reach top speeds of 30 miles per hour. Photo of passengers working out in the gymnasium aboard the Titanic, which sank in 1912 after a collision with an iceberg, where more than 1,500 people lost their lives. Take a look at this cute reaction from a kid, who seems to be amazed when he meets Andre the Giant in the 1970s. American troops aboard a landing craft during Operation Torch, heading to the beaches of Oran in Algeria, on November 1942. Contestants flex for a picture before a bodybuilding contest in Athens, Greece in 1980. These events were all over Europe at the time, as gyms and bodybuilding started to become popular. Police officer John Shuttleworth, standing in waist-high flood waters, that hit Cambridge, Ontario, in 1974. Photographed by Mike Hanley. The gorgeous actress, dancer and singer Margaret Yvonne Middleton, was a Canadian-American who became a Hollywood film star in the 1940s and 50s. She was awarded two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her contributions to motion pictures and television. Despite being surrounded by the ruins of Nagasaki after the atomic bomb was detonated, this young girl still emerges from a bomb shelter with a smile on her face. Photographed by Yosuke Yamahata on August 10, 1945. A photo of two couples sleeping on an escalator in New York Grand Central Terminal, after having a long night on New Year's Eve in 1969. Taken by Leonard Freed. U.S. soldiers of the 9th Infantry Division, relaxing on the longboat trip back to their base camp, after a day trudging through the coconut groves of Kien Hoa Province in the Mekong Delta. January 14, 1969. A circus hippo pulling a cart in 1924. These 3,500 pound beasts have notoriously been some of the most dangerous animals used in circus performances. Babies treated with sunlight treatment in 1927. It was thought that sunlight therapy can effectively treated patients with malaria. Vietnam War protesters face troops guarding the Pentagon. The protest involved more than 100,000 attendees at a rally by the Lincoln Memorial. Later about 50,000 people marched across the city to the Pentagon, led by activist Abby Hoffman. October 21, 1967 Young Marine gets his wounds treated during operations in Hue City, 1968 during Vietnam War. Photographed by undetermined U.S. military photographer. Helen, an American Indian telephone and switchboard operator, taken in Montana, 1925. Benjamin George Bowden, showing off his bicycle design called the Space Lander in 1946, and was said to represent what the bicycle of the future was supposed to look like. Photo by Professor James Hampton. Salvador Dali takes his anteater on a walk around Paris. Apparently, he had a passion for this animal, which is frequently depicted in his paintings. Turkey's Drunk Baskets During the 1960s, many bars in Turkey would often employ basket men called kufisi, whose sole purpose was to take patrons to their homes when they were too drunk to stand up. The head of the Statue of Liberty sits on display in a park in Paris, France, 
in 1878. Not long before it was transported and gifted to the United States to be fully assembled, at its permanent home in New York City.